Shannon, should Mahomes be the MVP favorite now? I think so. I think he's bought it himself, especially Skip. Uh, you know, uh, national televised games, they carry a little bit more weight because all everybody's watching it. A lot of times, these voters, Skip, they, they're watching other games. They're beat writers for around the league with other teams. and I will buy that. <laughs> they're watching and, and I co-sign <laughs> strongly on what you just said because they don't have any idea half they'll, the time. They'll have, and sometimes, Skip, you see a guy, oh, he threw for 400. I wonder what he did. But then you watch how he threw, and then you watch it was his legs on a third and 17, Skip, yeah. he scrambles and gets 20. On a third and nine, he scrambles and gets 13 for a touchdown. On the two-point conversion, he scrambles again. Yeah. He was their leading rusher, Skip. He had 63 yards rushing, 34 of which came in uh, the regulation and, and right at overtime. Yeah. He was there. Let that sink in. He had 50 more yards than their three running backs, Clyde Edwards, Alaire, Jerry McKenna, and, Pac uh, and Pacheco. They had 12 carries for 14 yards. That's what, he, that's what he did. You talk about a running game? You talk about the lack, Tom, lack of running game? Mm -hmm. Matthew Stafford, lack of running game? Can I interest you in 12 carries for, four, uh, uh, for 14 yards? And he was getting constantly harassed all night long. He was. And he found a way to somehow win a game that they probably shouldn't have won. They did a great job. They understood the task at hand. Man, we got to keep that big thing, that big bulldoze off the field, Skip. Because, man, he gets ahead of steam. He starts to run it. But then in the second half, they completely shut it down. They made Willis become a participant mm -hmm. and not a bystander. Yeah. And he couldn't get it done. 22 yards in the second half in overtime, Skip. But I thought 446 passing yards, that's the third highest of his career. Skip, I did not know he, at the time that he had thrown the ball 68 times. He needed three more to break the record. Bledsoe threw the most in, over, in, in uh, regulation overtime yep. with 70 and 94 against the Dolphins. I think that was opening day, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. It was a mud bowl. It was, it was a disaster up there. Mm. I didn't know he threw it that much, Skip. I really didn't. I, thought, I knew he had thrown it. I said, he probably thrown it about 55, 57 times. Yep. But I look up, and he got 68 pass attempts, and they needed it all. 446, 63 rush yards, a rush touchdown pass. He was, he was sensational, Skip. There's no other way around it. He was sensational last night. And I do believe because Josh McDaniel on the national stage, he laid an egg, Skip. He threw two horrible interceptions. And I went back and I looked at it, and I still don't know what he saw I don't on either. those interceptions. I agree. And so uh, I got Mahomes. I got uh, Jalen Hurts. But, Skip, I got it. We're going to have to start putting in the MVP conversation. Tua. It's Tua. We're going to have Skip. I, I, I get it. Or maybe it's Tyreek. Tyree. Ty, Ty, I think Tyreek. Tyreek gets 22, 2,300 yards, Skip. He might win it because he's going to have a season. And just when we thought Cooper Cup, Skip, we said it was the greatest regular season and postseason we had ever seen. But if Tyreek continues to pace, Skip, he has a, he's over 1,100 yards. Yep. He was on pace to get over 2,200 receive yards. That's crazy. But I do think it's Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Tua, if I'm not, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go in and throw Tyreek in there. Tyreek need to get some MVP discussion. All but right. Patrick Mahomes was sensational last night. <sighs> to your first point, quick aside. Back in my days when I covered the Cowboys, where I went to every game home and road. Right. To your point, I, I was fixated on my team that I covered, and I started doing in 1992 a show on ESPN that required me to go to Bristol, Connecticut every Monday like for the whole season. Right called Prime Monday with Mitch Album and Mike Wilbon. Right. And the point was, I would get there on Monday thinking, I, I, I don't even know what happened. <laughs> like, like, seriously, you I don't. saw some highlights, but the highlights in 92 weren't that great. No. And they aren't like now right. where you can just call up all kinds of highlights. So to your point, I felt out to sea when I arrived in Bristol on Monday because I wasn't sure what had happened unless they wanted to talk about my Cowboys, which we usually wanted to talk about. Right. So, to or the team that was playing your Cowboys. Or that you one. were there because you could see it. That is correct. Okay. Now, back to Patrick Mahomes. Let's do, let's repeat our question we had on number one. Scale of one to ten, how impressed was I with, not Tom Brady, but with Patrick Mahomes last night? You went a four on your scale on Brady. Yeah. I'm going to go all the way up to only a three. That's all <laughs> I was impressed with on Patrick Mahomes last night. Look at the numbers on this game. Patrick Mahomes had the ball for 91 plays to a grand total of 48 for Malik Willis, the kid who had to start for the Tennessee Titans. Right. Think about that. 91 plays to 48 plays. Think about time of possession. It was 41 minutes for Patrick Mahomes to a grand total of 26 minutes 
for Malik Willis, which is Malik's fault in large part right. because he just couldn't convert a third down. Right. They went one for 11 on third down, then they had the late fourth down, so that was 0 for 1. But just, just think about this, one for 11 yeah. on third down. And the receiver, they didn't have a receiver catch a pass. Not, not, a, not one catch by a wide receiver, not one. And he, he completed five balls for a grand total of 80 yards. And by the way, 48 on the first play. He did. And and he threw three or four pretty good balls. About three of those four weren't caught, and they had a chance to Conley. be caught. Yep. Conley must have thought he had a, ba a basket or something in the ball he was trying to throw to the uh, basket. Because the ball went right through his arms. Uh, he can't throw Malik okay. Willis cannot throw a better pass than that one. Okay, but in the biggest picture, this is the truth about that game. If Ryan Tannehill had been able to play last night, the Titans are going to win that game because he's going to give them enough offense to hold on to the football and score a, a few points here and there that's going to make it impossible for Patrick to be able to come back mm -hmm. because the Titans' defense in the big picture played well enough to win oh, that yeah. game because they did a number on Patrick Mahomes even in the passing game. Right, right. It was a long slog for Patrick Mahomes, but he had so many opportunities. But in the end, as you pointed out, they finally said, well, we can't throw it. Maybe we should try to run it. And Patrick takes <laughs> off. And what have we talked about, Patrick? He looks like he goes, he's, he's like 6'3", <laughs> can we give him 240? Oh, he, he absolutely maybe, 240. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe 245. 250? Yeah, yeah, he's absolutely okay. 240. Somewhere underneath all that body armor is a former shortstop. Yes. And the shortstop will come out when you least yes. expect it. And it looks like he's lumbering. But trust me, when he hits top speed, <laughs> there's some speed there yeah. that actually is misleading speed because yes. you, you're going to underestimate it. You're going to underestimate, underestimate, and all of a sudden he's by you. Yes. And he's a little bit slippery. He's, he's just a little bit side-to-side -side slippery, mm -hmm. and he is highly capable of making those runs to the point that I believe – that Tennessee should have spied him a little bit more because they just think, well, he can't run. Right. He, he can't, he's not well, Lamar. Skip, skip, but, you, but they should know firsthand. You remember in the championship game? It Do was a touchdown run that ignited and really got him back going again. Yeah, I kept showing you that play. And it looked like they were playing flag football, like they were just grasping for his flag. Yeah. And there's something about the quarterbacks are so protected, you would say overprotected, yeah. that seeds have been planted in the deep recesses of the defensive players' minds when he's – he's broken the line of scrimmage and he's running, you, you can just see defenders like, Sh should I should yeah. I really attack him or not? Yeah, should I you hit should, him? because that's the first, like, oh, my goodness. He is not in the pocket. There is no protection around him. Oh, he ain't got his big brothers to protect okay, him? I'm going to beat they, the brakes okay, off Okay, but they still kind of kid glove him. <laughs> they they kind of tentatively go up and, yeah. can I, can I kind of drag you to the ground? Can right. I do something without getting 15 yards? And they don't seem to want to do anything, and they just <laughs> let him run and run. He converted third and 17. Third and 17. It's, it's just a killer. Out of 39, that touchdown yeah, okay, skill was 39. We, we could, I don't know if we still have that to pull out, but it's third and nine on the, it's at the 14. Third and nine at the 14, he just says, okay, I'll do it. It just, he doesn't look the part because he's, he looks like he's about twice the size of Lamar. I think the thing is, Skip, when you look at a quarterback and you figure that if he's not Lamar Kyler, he's not athletic. But these quarterbacks are more are Justin Fields. Now, we yep. saw Justin Fields put well, on the Lord field. Lord have mercy. Can he run or not? <laughs> he he looks like a gliding run. He looks like Eric Dickerson to Man, me. Man, that 61-yarder, that I was very impressed. Whew. Get him some receivers and see where that, so that turns out. But, Skip, I think that sometimes you, you underestimate these quarterbacks because, like you said, they are protected. And they have on these big flat jackets. And you don't look at them as athletes. But you have to realize now, most of these guys played other sports. They played basketball. They played baseball. They did other things besides play quarterback. Yep. And so deep down under that guy that's all of a sudden is maybe not as athletic as he was, there's still an athlete inside, and they're waiting to show you. Every time they do something, where they say, well, you know, back in the day, I was a running back, or I did this, or I played this position. That is correct. I got you. <laughs> The problem with Tennessee's defense, it fought its ass off for so long. They I'm definitely played well enough to get 91 yeah. plays to 48. That's so a lot it's of plays. out there, it's out there, it's still out there. And finally, as the clock wound down in the fourth quarter, he's he's also able to get away with running for 20 yards because they just look a little gassed. Of course. Like they have rushed him so hard all night long and they have put heat on him. Yeah. Play after play. And as you keep telling me about Micah Parsons, you got to give him a blow. You got to <laughs> give him a break. Yeah. Right? You play 90 plays. Skip, you play 90 plays as a defensive guy. That's a hell of a lot of plays. That's probably 30 plays more, 25 to 30 plays more than you normally play in a game. Okay. So I think last night was in the big picture misleading because 
Malik is not ready for prime time. Not that prime time against that team in right. that stadium because down the stretch of the fourth quarter, I know he, he, it's been just battered into his brain. Don't throw it to them. Right. Don't throw it to if, – if you don't have it, throw it away. Right. But there comes a point in a game like that that is teeter-totter – you just – you got to cut it loose right. every once in a while. He just wouldn't cut it loose. Yeah, I, I'm not I, I, going to. Skip, I thought when they got that interception, when the ball carried him off of Kelsey's hands, maybe that was an opportunity on first down to let him throw the ball. But they was like, basically, we're in field goal range. Let's run Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, and then we take the field goal. But at some point in time, Skip, you got to let him try something. Yeah, I agree. And so, in the end, I'm standing with Jalen Hurts. Only because of that one number. I can't do the rest of the stats, but there's just one number that leaps eight, off the no. page, and it's eight and zero. Eight and zero. And they have to, you, you've already said they got to deal with the Titans. So does my team. My team has to go to the Titans. And right? they got to face the Bears, too, okay. with, that, with, that, right. with that quarterback. Okay. okay, you mean that Philly, Philly the Eagles, does. Yeah. I, I, I got it. I think they can handle them. But the point is, Jalen Hurts has changed the culture mm -hmm. in Philadelphia. And it, it, it's not that Patrick and Andy Reid haven't, but that's done. That's that's already they're, – yeah. they're just already feeding off the culture, yeah. right? Yeah. That they won the game because of, of a long-running culture uh -huh. last night in Kansas City. But Jalen Hurts has installed a whole new belief system to me in Philadelphia that makes him the MVP at this point because – for the record, Patrick lost at Indianapolis, and it still just sticks out there, and he made one late bad throw mm -hmm. that cost them that game. Josh Allen, I've told you from the start, I can't quite get completely sold. I have nothing but respect. But in the end, if we're talking about are you that guy or just this guy, I'm not sure. And to your point, he threw two bad picks. I mean, they were horrible. And, and listen, the the kid for the Jets didn't play that well. No. Right? Wilson. <laughs> You know, he he didn't, but but the Jets are legit on defense, defense, and they got after him. The corner? Yeah. Skip, well, a couple of weeks ago, I was in Denver. I wish people had an opportunity to be up close to Sauce Gardner. Skip, he's the biggest corner I've ever... He's legit. Yeah. Six foot four. Skip, he's ginormous. And I'm talking about with long... I'm like, bro, is this merely this big man I, arms I like with for I, days? I don't see that on TV. Skip, he's yeah. huge. Okay. He, Skip... He's huge. Well, he changed the way Cincinnati played college football. He he was the reason they were what they were. And if he gets his hands on you, just go ahead and stop the route and get okay. ready to run well, something else next play. That's who they are. And by the way, they're only a half game out in a jammed up AFC East. But Skip, I, it's going to be hard. Patrick Mahomes throws for 55, 5,600 yards with 48, 50 touchdowns. Yep. That's going to be hard to overcome. It will, unless that number, that 8 no, <laughs> keeps going and o oh, and o oh, and o oh, and o. Oh. I don't think they're gonna end up undefeated. I okay. think they lose. I think they lose one to two games. One for sure. Two possibly. They are going to lose on Christmas Eve because yeah, I'm you, getting an early. No, Christmas no, 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 no. You, you see what you're trying to do is manifest that. You keep trying to put it out there in the air. That's it's what you're going doing. to be. I, I got it. <laughs> Who said? We are going to get even with them, and we're also going to get even this coming Sunday with Aaron Rodgers. Oh. For all the, the pain he has inflicted upon us, we are going to inflict all of it back on him this Sunday. You haven't forgot about the catch that wasn't the catch. Yeah. You haven't forgot about that 2016 well, we, that playoff. Here we go. Woo, Skip, so you want a 50 to nothing type game, huh? Weekend. I am. I'm ready. <laughs> Guys, quick note on Patrick Mahomes. He does have the most touchdowns in the NFL right now on this season, and he does have the second highest QB rating. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.